hey welcome back to my channel this feels really strange i haven't done a sitting down and talking video for ages i just felt a bit weird just talking to a camera so bear with me i just feel like i've got a bit rusty not that i was ever good at it before but you know what i mean um it is a strange thing so i'm just in my comfies i just thought i would film a catch-up video while i put a poll on my instagram about what you'd like to see next because I said that I wanted to get back into my YouTube and upload a video every week to be consistent because I haven't, I had a bit of time off so we'll start with that in a second but yeah basically this was the most requested thing so I've got a few questions to answer um, and yeah we're just going to have a little live catch up and a little chit chat so get comfy, I won't make this too long because I don't want to bore you, my life is not that interesting but yeah so we'll start from the beginning I guess, I'll explain why I had a little bit of a break. I think I actually just wasn't feeling that confident with like, uploading videos. I started my placement, the whole of May I was on placement and I think I just really wanted to throw myself at that, that I didn't think about videos or what I was gonna upload or like Instagram and stuff like that. It all kind of took a step back, which I don't regret at all. I really enjoyed my placement and I'm glad that I put as much effort into it as I possibly could because it definitely benefited me in the long run. Um, but yeah, I don't finish uni till August, mid-August, so until then, because I have a lot of work to do, I thought I'll just do one video a week because I want to keep these, I want to keep making videos because I enjoy doing it, but I don't want to like, it's a lot of work doing all the editing and stuff like that. Um, well, it depends what you're doing, but yes, it can be quite long and you have to really cut out the time for it. So I think to the end of August, I'll do one video a week and then... Come September, I will be back up to maybe two, three a week, hopefully, if this is all moving in the right direction and everyone wants to see that. So yeah, I can't wait for that. I really can't wait for September. I've got so many exciting things happening. So one of the first questions was actually like, how are you at the moment? I'm actually so happy, as you can tell, but I feel like when I get excited, I talk really quickly. But yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really enjoying everything in life at the moment. I feel like I have a perfect balance between like food, fitness, like going out. I don't feel like I've been holding myself back or restricting myself. Um, I've been very like sociable recently, and but I'm still like, working hard. And I just feel like I've got a really good balance and I'm just so happy that I'm finally in a place where I can have balance like that. Um, yeah, and I've just been meeting new people and just having a really nice time and not getting too stressed out about my like, last few months at uni. So everything is looking positive. Um, I'm looking to move out in September, which I did mention on my story. And I think I am gonna like, document that process because I haven't moved out before. I didn't live away whilst I was at uni. I did live away a bit, like I went to boarding school. So I did live away a bit, but obviously it's not the same. I've always lived at home. So I'm quite excited to move out and live with friends. I'm gonna be, hopefully it's going to be five of us in, a house next year together so I think it'll be quite good fun um yeah I'm just really excited to live with friends so that's happening so we're obviously starting to look at places now but just seeing what's on the market um ready to move in beginning of September um what else do I need to update you on yeah I'm doing I'm working on my dissertation that's basically what I'm doing right now I've only got one piece of work left and the hand in date for that is on the 18th of August and I just I'm really enjoying the piece of work I'm doing at the moment, but I just really can't wait for you to be finished just because there's so many exciting things that I'm about to get on with. So like moving out and started going into full-time work and I'm really excited to have a full-time job, to be honest. Just like that stability and like stable income. Because obviously I work part-time around uni at the moment, but it's just not, it's not enough for me to move out, so I really need a job. Um, but let me get these questions up. Okay, so I've got my questions up. Um, we'll start off with like the general life ones leading in from that previous. Someone's about to come in my room. Maybe she's walking past. So yeah, we'll start off with the like life ones, like life update question kind of style questions um, to lead on from what I was saying earlier. So one of the questions was, why do you finish uni so late? Because obviously most people finish, already finished now. I am on a fast track degree course, so my degree took me two years, but it means I don't finish till August because obviously I had to cram that last year in. So I've like had less holidays throughout being at uni, like not as long summer holidays and stuff like that, but 
it's literally the final stint so I'm not complaining, it's not going to be hard and I finish on the 18th of August, that date is just ingrained in my mind now, <laughs> that is my final hand in day. Um, what are my plans after uni, like I said, to move out and to go into work, um, yeah, that's it, I'm just have a fun time to keep enjoying myself and making the most of everything, which I feel like I really have been doing lately so I just want to keep going with that. I do obviously want to get like in a nice like financial position so I can start saving, well not that I've, I've already started saving but yeah, like I don't want to be renting for that long, it's something that I'm really kind of like strongly I'm quite scared that I'm gonna get in like a hole of it and really love it and rent for like four years and then have no money to actually move out and buy a house. But I'm sure we'll tackle that. We'll tackle that bridge when we come to it. Is that the same? I don't know. She doesn't know. Um, have you got any holidays planned this year? Funnily enough, I actually booked one literally the other day to go to Mallorca at the end of August. Um, but obviously with Covid who knows but it is on the green list and the new health secretary, I don't know if you, if you have been living under a rock, we have a new health secretary because the other one got caught fondling someone in the corridor. So Matt Hancock, which is, I just think is hilarious, um, but anyway he actually did say the other day on the news that he, they don't plan on going back with the tool, like another lockdown is not even an option for them, so I think hopefully stuff like that they don't once things are on the green list they're there to stay but you just you just don't know touch wood but i would really love that to go forward i just think it was gonna be so nice um and i'm obviously going to board masters the week before so yeah quite um i'm gonna have a big busy august i'm literally gonna finish uni and have like fun for like two weeks two three weeks and then move out go to work and still have fun obviously but yeah so that could be interesting but we will see we will see but if not a lot of holiday content coming i probably won't work out when i'm away just because it's a situation you'll find out about soon maybe i don't know we'll find out um next question was actually favorite holiday um i've been on, i've been really lucky and i've been on some pretty nice holidays i've seen some pretty cool places we went to Mauritius right before Covid struck and I absolutely loved it there, it so beautiful. Um, we, my family's quite into water sports so going there there was a lot to do but I feel like if there wasn't any water sports to do I would have probably got a bit bored because there wasn't much else to do, you would just be lying on a beach. Which some people that's fine but like I, I can lie on a beach for a few days but I couldn't do it for like a full 10 days and um, it's quite a long way so you have to Saying that though, we went on like boat trips, went scuba diving, we saw dolphins, like it was insane. Um, but yeah, there and just general places, I've been to quite a lot of cities across Europe and I loved going to Florence, Paris, and went to Budapest in 2019 too and that was nice. Um, but all the kind of places you'd only go for a weekend. Also I went to, I've got family in Australia, so I've been to Sydney and I absolutely love Sydney. It's just an amazing place. Um, I really love the city, but then I also love the coast. So it was like the perfect balance for me because obviously they're really close. Um, but yeah, it's quite expensive there. So not saying that I would recommend, like I couldn't, I always thought, oh, maybe I'd move there, but it's just too, it's too expensive to be honest. Um, but should I feel bad for missing days at the gym? This is actually something that I wanted to talk about in my story this morning. But it was quite hard because I didn't really know how to word it without sounding not like patronising, but I just don't know. So I actually haven't worked, I only worked out about four times last week, I think. Maybe less, no, less than that, like two times last week. And I actually worked out this morning. I had so much energy. I felt so good. I felt really confident in myself. And I just wanted to get, that's what I was trying to get across is the fact that I drank so much this weekend, like more than I, not more than I ever, ever drank, but quite a lot. So Friday night I was drinking, so same with Saturday night. And I must've polished off like two bottles of wine for myself. Like collectively we must've done about 10, but yeah quite a bit um and then was eating loads of food obviously didn't feel guilty at all for it i don't feel guilty now but i just want to say that i had been doing that all weekend and i hadn't worked out since tuesday and there was no difference in my body like there was no changes yeah i might have been a bit bloated maybe on friday and saturday night because i consumed lots but 
come Monday morning, everything was normal. And I didn't restrict on Sunday. I didn't eat less, if anything, I ate more. When I'm tired, I eat so much. I just pick everything in the cupboard. So bottom line is you just don't need to stress about it. I always get so many messages about people feeling guilty. They're going away and they're like, oh, there's no gym. There's no way I can work out. Or you're scared of snacks and stuff like that. A week a week or even two weeks difference isn't gonna make a difference, really. Like realistically, even if you were to be completely out of routine for two weeks and only go to the gym once or not go to the gym at all and eat whatever you wanted. Because realistically, I find it's, you still like listen to your body like, yes, you might overeat and you might feel full and bloated, but your body can only take a certain amount of food anyway. So once it's like really full, you're gonna to have to stop. It's just, yeah, I don't know, it just works. It works out, you've got to listen to your body. I said indulge, but just don't overindulge. I know that's so much easier said than done. I did go through a binging stage, so I know what that's like when you feel like you just can't stop and it's a bit out of control. But when you're with families and social events, you kind of just have to engage with that and not the food and just mindless eat. And also just, if you're worried and stuff like that, maybe just kind of structure the week a bit. I like have nights where you could, like, I. I think personally if I went away I don't tend to go like for a full um like massive dinner every night so yeah other ones I've just started in the gym do you have any advice I literally have no clue about the machines diet etc I think the best way to do is just trial and error I always say this trial and error try different routines maybe try a few plans find out what works for you because some people really like weight training, some people don't, some people like more like functional training. So you do have to really just trial and error, but try some plans. I did test Whitney Simmons Alive app and I actually did the, the whole 10 week program afterwards. So I put the video of me testing up here. And I really enjoyed that. So I think if you wanted to get into weight training, I mean, she has other plans, but I just did the weight training one, then that's definitely such a good thing to follow, really easy in the gym, and will just give you a good structure. And in terms of diet, just eat what you want. Don't force a salad down you if you don't like salad, it's just not worth it. Lots of things about like pre and post workout food. Um, I tend to work out in the morning, but I'll eat breakfast before I have breakfast, I leave it an hour, and then go and work out. So, I don't really know, but I guess if I was to have pre-workout, I know we have, like, if I go on a run and I want to go really early, I'll just have a banana or something before I go. That's, like, the best pre-workout you can get. I don't take normal pre-workout. I just, it's not for me. I don't really like it, and I don't really notice much of a difference when I do. Um, and then post-workout, I don't mind having a shake. I will use the Misfit stuff. I think I've got a recipe on my Instagram of, like, a protein shake that I always do with the protein powder and something like that, or like I said, I'll have just a snack, a protein bar, or go straight to lunch. It really depends on what time I'm working out, to be honest, so. Can you explain the importance of rest days and still, I still can't manage to take one, I feel so guilty. Um, obviously, like I was just saying, you, you shouldn't feel guilty, you actually need to really listen to your body and realize that actually, when you go back after that rest day, you feel so much stronger and you can actually work harder. Um, but basically, the importance of it is, your rest is actually when your muscles grow because that's the time your muscles heal and they repair and they actually grow. If you keep working on them, they're not gonna grow, you're not giving them enough time to repair and you're just gonna be like depleting them. What podcast do I listen to? Um, to be honest with you, I don't listen to that many at the moment but I always just listen to the girls' bathroom. I absolutely love them. I just think it's really funny. Um, actually helped me quite a lot. Just, yeah, just gain a bit of confidence. They really just, they are literally, it's like being in the girls' bathroom at a club, you know, when you're drunk and you're like just egging each other on and you don't know anyone and you just say what you like. It is a bit like that. So definitely would recommend. I used to listen to The Health Code, which was by Sarah's, like Sarah's Day, but like Sarah Stevenson and um, Kurt Tills. But they started doing this like daily one and it's like five minutes long and they haven't done long ones in ages and I just don't like the daily ones, they're just really pointless, I'd rather it be more of a conversation. I'm trying to think of other ones that I've listened to. I did start, my dad wrote a porno and I listened to it in a long car journey and I did get quite into it but now I just can't get back into it, it just gets a bit like, it's kind of funny at first and then I'm like well it's just a bit weird, I don't really know how to take this but it's funny I guess. I had a quick little break there, just got a bit distracted. 
I don't know about you, but everyone seems to be catching COVID at the moment, which uh, I'm just, I haven't caught it yet. So unless I have and I was asymptomatic and I didn't know about it, I haven't actually caught it yet. And you just don't know when you're going to catch it because you could get it anywhere. Do you know what I mean? So I'm a bit concerned because I just know my luck, I'll catch it at the worst time, like right before I'm meant to go away or when I finish uni and I'll have to isolate, I finish uni and I'll isolate for 10 days. But yeah, I guess that's just what we've got to live with now um, is to be expected. I can't avoid it, so yeah, but a bit anxious about that. Um, yeah, I don't want this to be too long and I feel like I've really rambled, so I might cut the video short here. There was a lot of questions about certain aspects of my life that I'm not going to talk about just yeah, just because. I don't know. You'll see, you'll see. Just because, um, yeah, like for privacy reasons. And not that I don't want to share everything on here, but you know, you just never know. So, yeah, I can't wait to like share loads more with you guys. Um, and obviously, go up to like two to three videos. But yeah, this was just my little catch up video to let you know I am okay. I didn't just disappear for a month. I'm just very busy. Um, and yeah, I want to keep this going because it is something that I enjoy doing. And Honestly, would love to like make it more of a full-time job, but obviously that is not the case at the moment. I do need another job. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to keep this going and just yeah, keep you guys all updated, um, tell you all the exciting things. I have actually got something in the works for my Instagram page. So hopefully you'll see that soon, but I think everything is gonna happen around September time. So yeah, just keep your eyes out. But till then, I'll do a video every week. So either next, next week it's either gonna be my updated Gymshark call or the gym, my home gym renovation video because literally everything got the same amount of votes other than this video, <laughs> it's got the most. So yeah, I need to tidy up my gym. Oh God, I need to drop my phone on the floor, that terrified me. Um, I need to tidy up my gym and then I'll t film that video because it has changed a lot in a year. I actually saw a picture pop up the other day of what it was like a year ago and it was just, I'd only just painted the walls white so yeah, I'm, it's pretty impressive. It's the one thing I'm gonna miss when I move out because I'm not gonna have that if I have to go to an actual gym. Which does terrify me slightly, filming in the gym, but I'll go over that, I've, I'll be fine. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this isn't too long. I don't think it should be. Um, I didn't wanna ramble too much, but I just feel like I answered a few questions, kind of summed up what's going on. And yeah, I will see you in next week's video. Um, I hope you all have a good week. I think I'm going to put this up on Tuesday morning. But yeah, thank you for watching and being patient with my inconsistent posting and uploading at the moment. Just things have been a bit crazy. And like I said, I've just been enjoying life and I hope everyone else is too because we have been stuck indoors for too long. Go out and make the most of everything. Like enjoy the football. Love Island starts tonight. And I'm definitely going to be watching it. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.